Welcome to Daily Art Day number 2865. Still working on Buffy. I'm really liking how her face is turning out right now. And I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm trying to keep the... There you go. You can probably see it now. I'm trying to keep all the graphite from blending. So everything is being done in straight lines, cross-hatching. So this is how I'm trying to display that dichotomy of vulnerability and fierceness. So with all those lines, if you back up and you get, you know, kind of a really soft look, but then close up, you can see the harshness there and the harshness in her eyes and things like this. So I'm really liking it so far, having a lot of fun, taking my time. And that's, that's probably what's most important is just taking my time with it, not going too fast, not trying to finish it too fast. And that's, that's super good. A couple things here. Here's a tip for you. If you buy the uh, Conte of Paris pencils, these guys right here, this is a 3B, if you can see that, if it'll focus on it, probably not. I would suggest never buy anything softer than a B because like I have a two I have two B's and three B's and you can see how I like to sharpen these. And uh, it's really with those super soft ones, like uh, most of the time when you buy them, the the leads are completely shattered inside. And once you sharpen them, they just break, 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 break. And I, I spent probably a half an hour sharpening a bunch of these pencils. Basically, all it did was just create a pile of garbage <laughs> pencils. <laughs> I just whittled them down to nothing, you know, because they kept breaking. So, Conte of Paris. Stick with a B. Those are the best. That kind of thing. And the last thing is, um, I switched my office slash studio around so that my desk and everything's over there eh, just a quick change something new and different and i have uh, my hero bars up there something to remind me every single day why i do this and it makes me just feel wonderful just looking at it <laughs> yeah and my drawings this is um the daily art my two most tough daily art days ever. The one on the left was right before kidney transplant. The one on the right is right after kidney transplant. The day after in a hospital bed. I look at these every day and if I don't, if I, if I, if I even think I don't feel like it, <laughs> I look at these and I go, yeah, I'm going to get to work. If I could do it on this hard day, I could do it on any day. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> so basically, if you, can, if you can stick to what's important to you on your hardest day, you could do it on any day. So yeah, build up your willpower, get those hardest day done, do your daily art, whatever that is. Doesn't have to be drawing, doesn't have to be painting, could be anything, but just do it. Anyway, have a wonderful day and keep creating.